I am making stuffed tomatoes, which I think is gonna be delicious. I looked at a lot of recipes. You can stuff a tomato with anything you can stuff into anything. You can do rice, you can do, I'm using couscous. You can do tuna fish, I mean, depending. I mean, these are gonna bake, so you know, bear in mind that if you serve them cold, you could do, like I said, tuna fish or some other salad you like. Um, the possibilities are only limited by your imagination. So I bought some nice big round tomatoes because they are going to be stuffed. And what you want to do is cut their, cut a cap off the top. And we're going to put the top to the side. And then we have to hollow them out just like you would do with a pumpkin. Um, get all the middle out because you need room for the outright, outrageously delicious stuffing you're going to put in them. And you know, get as much as you can out. And then when I get these hollowed out, I'm going to sprinkle them with salt and pepper. There's one, and I got one more here. I'm making four. Uh, so, so your filling can be, you can make four, you can make six, you just increase your filling if you have more tomatoes that you're using. And these would be delicious if these were tomatoes out of your garden, but these tomatoes look nice and they're gonna serve the purpose. Using a serrated tip spoon would be nice for hollowing these out, now that I'm doing it the hard way. All right, so those are my tomatoes. This is the filling, we don't need that anymore. Um, I am gonna save the caps, I'm gonna neaten this up, because they're just gonna be their little hats on. Um, just for presentation purposes, it'll look cute. All right, I have two that I started. And they're on a rack with their little hats. So I just sprinkle them with some salt. Boop, over the shoulder. Hopefully that was the correct one. And salt and pepper. And I'm turning them over to drain. If you can see, the two I've already done that were waiting for me, the liquid is starting to come out. So that's what you want. You'd have them drain for maybe 10 or 15 minutes. This is fresh basil and I'm just doing a rough chop. This isn't baking and when you're cooking you can tweak things any way you want. You know, as long as it tastes good and it's what you're looking for, that works. Okay, I'm gonna move that to the side. This is some couscous. Uh, you can find this, it's in your pasta area in your supermarket. And it's just a light, light pasta. And I'm going to add things to it, it's my filling. I have some pine nuts here that I've already roasted in a pan. Um, they look like this. And I just put them in a cast iron pan, dry cast iron pan, and I just roasted them and stirred them. You don't want them to have any too much color. This is about the right amount. It just releases the oils and it gives them a much more nutty flavor. So they're going in. I also have little tomatoes that I've chopped up. Um, I wouldn't use the filling that I took out of these tomatoes because to me, um, it looks tough and seedy. So I chopped up some nice little cherry tomatoes that are gonna go in. And I have a little red onion that I've chopped up. That's gonna go in. If you don't like onion, leave it out. If you like onion, add more. I have my basil right here. I'm gonna put that in and the last ingredient I'm going to add, look how that's pretty. I'm going to grab some feta cheese. Lee and I did a little taste test. Feta cheese comes so many different ways. There's fat free, with herbs, without herbs, this way, that way. Found one that has some of the same flavors that I have going on. So we decided to use this one. And this is to your taste. If you don't like feta, try another cheese. If you don't want cheese at all, perfect. I'm going to salt and pepper the whole dish. Mix it up really good. I mean, this would be a nice salad on its own, like not even in the tomatoes, a nice summertime. A little olive oil. Be delicious. I would definitely eat this just as it is right now. So, because I'm serving this to my friends, and two of my friends do not like black olives and black olives out of a can. 
So I want them to enjoy this. So I'm making two without the black olives. I'm going to add them in. So it's good to know. I mean, if you don't like something, don't put it in. So I'm going to stuff two for them. I want these nice and full. They're going to go in a baking, sh uh, baking pan and they're going to be in the oven for about 15 minutes. You don't want the tomatoes to collapse. So you got to kind of watch them. I'm going to put them in a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Now I can add my black olives. Okay, perfect. So these are my two. I'm not doing a particularly neat job stuffing these, but I'm getting the job done. Well, look at how pretty they look. Sweet. All right, but they're not done yet. Over here, I have some panko mixed with Parmesan cheese. So they're going to have a little crust on the top, which is going to be really yummy. Because then now you have the cheese and the panko, so it'll be crunchy. I'm going to pat that down. If your tomatoes are really wobbly, these ones are behaving nicely. But if they're really wobbly, take a little slice off the bottom so they have a nice flat bottom to sit on. But these ones are behaving. All right, that's our topping. And then I just want to look, drizzle a little olive oil on the top so our topping gets nice and brown and crunchy. Whoops. All right, now they're gonna go into this pan. Oh, that's a heavy pan. And they're going to bake in the oven until the top is brown and looking lovely. And then probably halfway through the baking, I might add my little covers in there because when I present them, the little cover is going to be like that. It's like a little package. All right, into the oven they go.